Backup in Zip is one of the most useful and necessary techniques that you'll find in PTE AV Studio. Many users of PTE wildly underestimate their need to revisit an older project. When they do, they find that the content they originally used for their project has either been deleted, renamed, or perhaps moved on their computer, and the presentation can't be opened. Finding and relocating lost files, even if it's possible to do that at all, can become more trouble than it's worth. What you're viewing here in Windows Explorer is a backup in Zip slideshow that I made on the 29th of March 2014. I can even tell you that the backup was made at 1818 and 22 seconds. Now I have images and music spread in three folders on three different drives on this computer. Let's make a quick test presentation using that content. On my photography drive, I'm going to go to my test folder and pick two images. On my raw and finished drive, I'm going to go to the same labelled folder. I've got two images and a piece of music. And on my backup drive, I've got the last two images. So what I'm going to do here is go to my timeline and just mock up a small slideshow. Now this test slideshow has taken me just a few minutes off camera to create. But it could represent hours of work. I've saved my project file into my photography drive where those first two images were located. Let's assume a year has passed. We've been out shooting images and we've got some really good images, better than the ones we first used in this project, and we'd like to drop them in. Let's close down PTE, let's go to Windows Explorer, find our project file and open the project. So here we are in Windows Explorer, but bear in mind, a year has gone by. I've had the odd tidy up on my computer and I've moved and changed the names of some files for convenience. But I've got my project file for what I made a year ago. So if I double click that, my slideshow will open. Except it won't. Because all I've done to create this problem was to add the letter A on the end of some of the slides and also the piece of music. Now, unless we know exactly where those files are and what the names are, even with a small show like this, it could mean we abandon the actual project and start again. Now, I brought you back into Windows Explorer because this is just a test. So it was very easy for me to take those other four images and the piece of music, remove the letter A, and when I double click my project file, my slideshow opens up just as we expect it to. So with that same slideshow complete, let's make a backup in zip. But what is that actually going to do? Well, in our file list here, we could have quite a bit more content than we actually used. The backup in zip takes every image, video or sound file we actually did use, including all of our settings. It wraps them up in that zip folder, which can be stored off computer. So let's create that backup in zip file Create Backup in Zip. I'll place this on my desktop. You can see it's given the title, the date and the time and we can save that and it takes just a few seconds. What I'm going to do now is to close down PTE AV Studio, open up that folder in Windows Explorer and we can unzip it and try it out. Well, there's the backup we made. If I right click the zipped folder and choose to extract all, 
and extract. It'll extract absolutely everything and place it in one folder. Let me just show you that. There's the folder it's created. And when I open it up, what it's done is taken the two images from one folder and one drive, two images from another folder and drive, and another two images and the music. But the upshot is, if I double click my backup in zip project file, we are back in business. And of course, it could be a year, two years or more later. So with that slideshow I made almost eight years ago, when I open up the zipped file, the backup in zip, double click the project file. There we are right back as though we started the project yesterday.